Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to What's Up. I have no idea what number. Uh, impromptu, very special one this morning. I am jumping on the Noel McGrath, wherever he is, there he is. Noel McGrath, 200 kilometer ride. The Noel set up himself. Um, I've been away, so I've missed a lot of the Facebook posts, so I'm not absolutely sure if there was a, a more specific reason for this or if it was a challenge that he just wanted to set for himself or if it involves other people. Uh, but nonetheless, look, there we go, I've jumped in and there's a lovely group of WKGers and friends of Noel and the team and the group on this new road. So that's the other reason I've, I, haven't, I haven't even seen this, um, this new road. Hang on, I've literally just jumped on the bike, so... Oh, well, that looks uh, ominous. Speak of the devils just popped up as soon as I've arrived. I think I'm probably being slated. I have to say, straight away, off the bat, I'm really disappointed already because um, I left this until 11.11 .11 to jump on. I was hoping to just join the glory miles, the last sort of 10, 15k at the end. But now these guys are pretty rubbish. 72 kilometers so far. That's, uh, that's pretty shocking. Anyway, let me try and get my legs up to speed and get get into this bunch before I start saying hello to everybody. Uh, yeah, so Noel is looking to do 200k around this new course, which is nice and flat. I'm liking the scenery already, I have to say. Who's that? Paul Trill guy. They're going to have a two-hour break to let me catch up. Now you're all right, Paul. Don't worry about that. I'm good. I'll be honest, I'm kind of squeezing this one in. I don't have an awful lot of time because uh, of other commitments that I've made. Whew, I'm out of breath. <laughs> I've done 1k at uh, 2 watts per kilogram. I'm out of breath. Um, yeah, so anyway, this is the NM200. I'm 1.1 kilometers into it. Thank you for all the ride-ons already, guys, flying down. It's brilliant. I'm going to start doing it back in a minute, but I literally just jumped on, got myself some go juice, got myself some proper go juice, and uh, it's been a bit frantic. I haven't even set anything up properly yet, so all right, bear with me. Okay, so got myself sorted, music set up, camera properly set up now. I think, I'm assuming this is recorded properly now. Uh, so let's just run through who we do have in this group. I'll try and get to the front of what I think is the bunch. Starting here with S. Ronnenberger, N. Backer, H. Summerson, myself, Mr. McGrath, Cat Nav, Nar Simpson, A. Usiskin, M. Person, L. Capel, Nal Simpson, did I say him? Martin Backer, Emmanuel Person is here. Did I say Hans Summerson? I'm, oh my goodness. You lot, stay still, stay in position. We've got Catherine D, we've got Keith D, we've got Mr. Trilk, Sea Cat Champion, the only championship that matters. Uh, Mr. Martinison, J. Yama, Yama, Nal Simpson. I'm sure I've said Niles Simpson four or five times now. Martin Backer, I've definitely said. And loads of others. KP. I don't know. B. Morris. S. Ronnenberger. Little Child Havering. Oh, I was going to say Maria Trilks here, but look, she's just bought espresso and peanut butter on a spoon <laughs> for Paul. Nice. Where's mine? Uh, right. Why am I sweating? 5k in on a really flat ride. I'm sweating. What I will say is, whatever my weight is at the moment on Zwift, that is 100% not my weight. I've not been brave enough to weigh myself, but I spent a week in the beautiful Devon countryside, basically with barbecues every night, weir and, weir and wine, even beer and wine, chocolate, pastries. I think I had four or five croissants for breakfast every morning. I liked to, I, I tried to justify it with the fact that we were doing a lot of walking, so it kind of felt like I was burning a lot of it off, but the reality is no amount of walking would have burnt those calories. So I'm definitely unintentionally 
weight doping at this point. But unless this comes down to a sprint to the line, it shouldn't really matter. Uh, this is so great to see. No, well done for putting this together, man. Apologies, I couldn't be more involved from the start and maybe got it as an event in the module. I suppose the only trouble with events is you can get any old twats joining and trying to spoil the party if it's uh, been publicised through the Facebook forums and these Zwift event modules. So this keeps it nice and nice and civilised and, and special for the team. Do you know I did forget? A towel. And I can see one over on, a, on the top of my yet to be unpacked suitcase but it's kind of just out of reach or certainly precariously reachable. I'm going to have to try and reach it because I'm sweating into my eyes already but this could go very horribly wrong so bear with me. Yeah the bike's leaning. Oh ah, yeah mission accomplished. Hey, Mr. Viss is here as well. Good to see you, dude. I think it's probably the only one I've not given a ride on to yet. What the chances of clicking on him? Boom, gotcha. Oh, this looks nice, this little bit of scenery. Very good. Yeah, I'm, I'm super impressed with the, the design of this, uh, this course and the flatness as we hit a torturous 1-2% incline. Oh my God, my legs are feeling that. Um, yeah, I've not seen it at all. What I had done is listen to the latest Zwift cast, which sort of gave a description of it. And they mentioned, uh, they were talking about time trials a lot. Now I don't know whether that means there's a specific sort of time trial segment that actually gives you some proper time trial functionality, but they kind of were implying that in, the, in what I was hearing in the Zwift cast. On that subject, very quickly, Simon Schofield, I don't know if you still watch these, do. I think it was the worst kept secret in Zwift that uh, your health problems were more than you were letting on. And I'm absolutely delighted to hear that you're, you're on the other side of that. I know what it's like to try and come back from months off the bike for medical reasons, nothing like yours. I'm not gonna try and jump on the bandwagon, but uh, doing things like this, getting involved with your, your Zwift mates, of which you have many, many thousands. Jump in, they'll get you back up to speed in no time and feeling good about things. So anyway, so pleased you're on the mend and uh, good to have you back with us. Anyway, yeah, so this course, loving the design, loving the graphics. Hey, is that Mr. Scramstead that's jumped in there? Sneaky, see everyone was trying to do my thing, just pick up pick up the last few miles but I think we all underestimated how slow Noel McGrath really is. Um, how much has Noel done now? Let me have a look. Where is he? Uh, yeah, that's, he's, only, he's not even halfway. So disappointing. I genuinely thought by 11.11 I could jump on and do maybe the last 10, 15k. Sprint him out to the line. Nah. That said, I'm knackered. <laughs> My ass is killing me. That's what happens when I don't go on a bike for a long time. First thing that starts to really hurt is my backside. It's good pace though, guys. It's kind of uh, FTP for me at the moment, I reckon. There's Emmanuel Pearson. I don't think I've given him a ride on. I knew there was someone I'd missed. Come on, you, you little bugger. Oh, I did. All right, panic over. Who said this was flat? Look, 1%. This feels like Von 2 to me right now. By the way, everyone that's ordered the bottles, they have been going out. The first batches have left. Uh, but I say batches because I genuinely cannot sit there for hours and hours and hours on end, just batching them all up, posting them all out in one go, because it would just dominate every waking hour of my day. So I've been having to squeeze them in amongst other things over the last few days. Um, I'll be honest, I've still got quite a few to go but the lion's share are winging their way to you in all corners of the world. We've got Norway, Netherlands, Canada, USA, Australia, Switzerland, uh, 
Scotland. Um, where else? Some other weird places that no one even really knew existed. Ireland. All right, there's the dinosaur I've heard so much about. Apparently called Sinclair, something like that. Seymour. I'm sure it should be Zinclair or Zemore anyway, whichever one it is. Look at this though, this is what it's all about. Look at that. Oh yeah. You got to let it you. Sonia, Sonia's here. Did I say Sonia? Sonia, Mrs. Raz. And I haven't forgotten. And I'm using the same excuse every single time I bring it up. But I keep periodically remembering about it, but then having to do something else or just getting distracted by something else. I mentioned it before, but we there are some big things happening with the website. Some of it I'm in control of it, some of it I'm not. Um, but I'm looking to streamline the RAS table, league tables going forward, and obviously the, the upcoming mini crit league, which I've scribbled down quite a lot of notes, and we'll start trying to put into some kind of structure very soon. <laughs> Is that Marcus in the gravity? Yeah. That's the other thing that shouldn't take priority, but I just got too excited about. I'm trying to turn this old, this old dog, my specialised alley, into a gravel bike. Mainly because it costs very little to do. And I don't know how I'll take to sort of gravel riding, so I'd rather do that before taking the plunge and actually getting a full-on gravel bike with nice big tyres and disc brakes and all the rest of it. So. Just use what I got. But anyway, Sonia, your Raz has not gone unnoticed at this end. In fact, there was something in your bottles that are winging, winging their way to yourself already. Uh, so, watch this space. Website updates, league table updates, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, this isn't about me or the Lee or even Sonia. This is about this fella, if I can find him. Where is he? Yeah, I think he's quit. He's had enough. Oh, there he is. There we go. Mr. Noel. Oh, my backside. You got to let it go. Money pop up on my screen. Let's give my ride on. Good to see you, bud. I think uh, a few of the guys that are in or around 100k mark have decided to take a few few minutes break. Yeah, Noel's just stopped. Change the bib shorts. Bill cry, throw up. Uh, maybe do a Tom de Moulin. Then jumping back on. I don't have an awful lot of time, so. I'm just going to spin for a little while here, then I'm going to have to jump out, which is a real shame. Partly because it means I'm going to be doing a lot less interesting stuff from this point onwards. Uh, but if I'm honest, it's more than one reason. Firstly, I've never done 200k, and I'm absolutely not in the shape to do it. Secondly, I'm 20 odd k in and I actually feel tired. My feet hurt, my arse hurts. So, I know this is nice and flat, but I'm... 
I'm not even ready for this yet, which is so disgra disgraceful and disgusting and embarrassing, but it is what it is. So I will try and on just for a little bit more. I have to love you and leave you. What a great turnout though. Absolutely brilliant. These impromptu ones are always so good. And I've just heard, where is uh, Mr. Hans? Oh, actually, Hans was one of the ones that stopped, but he's basically jumping off to do a 21k run after this, I believe. Why anyone would put themselves through that is beyond me, but each to their own. <laughs> now, I tell you what, I'm in full admiration of anyone that can, well, can run, let alone do triathlons. The idea of getting off my bike after a considerable distance at racing speed and then running at racing speed. I think swimming is the only thing I could do, but then I'd be doing it like backstroke, maybe with a lilo and a pina colada. Um, but yeah, you guys are much harder guys than I am. I'll just run through the names again that I can see. You've got Mr. Money. Mr. Fulong, Mr. Capel, Mr. Person, Mr. Martinison, Mr. Trilk, Mr. Denton, T.P. Hsu, uh, he's on a, he or she is on a, a workout, so not strictly part of this group, I don't think. Obretha, Obretha, Obretza. Uh, this is Pullman Detail, Mr. Simpson, Mr. Emmanuel Pearson, Mrs. Denton, Mr. Martinison. Uh, I'm going to be repeating myself again, so... It's just all of those lot you can see on the screen and a few more. Ah, I think I just missed Paul Trill going over the 100k mark. Oh, that's a shame. Sonja's closing in, 3.9k to go. Looking strong. Who else we got close? I think I just saw someone else there on 98. Uh, Lens on 96.3, Nar Simpson 96.3, so yeah, quite a few guys about to jump into the 100k mark, here's one of them, hiding behind me, Mr Simpson. Oh man, Lens pulled out at 98.1. I don't know if that's for a break or a, a time restriction or, and that's that, I don't know. 98.1, that would drive me mad. <laughs> I'm sure there's a very good reason for it. Right, so we got, so the next ride is then, yeah, someone's just pointed out this would be great for a 111. It would, except I quite like the climb so you can get out the saddle. My legs don't like the climb, my ass does. Um, yeah, so next up to do, hit 100k, is going to be Nar Simpson and I believe Sonia Pullman Detail. So I'll keep an eye on those guys for the next 1500 meters. Okay. Last 300 meters for now Simpson and Sonia Pullman Detail hit the 100 mark. I don't know where I am in this. I think I'm dropping off the back. But I won't change camera just yet. There we go. Boom. 100 up for now. 100 up for Sonia. Well done, guys. There's Sonia. Great stuff. All right, I better flip back to me to see where I am. How am I a minute? I'm over a minute and a half behind. How's that happened? Right. Anyway, I think I'm going to go to 30k and jump off. Because, quite frankly, I'm knackered. And I've done 45 minutes. Strictly speaking, I'd only intended on doing 30. Cheers, Mr. Morwood. Uh, it actually took me longer than that to get ready because I put my coffee machine on, ran in here to... Uh, set up the camera, forgot my coffee machine was on and heard dripping in the kitchen so I had to run back and do a bit of mopping up and remake the coffee so 
wasted a fair bit of time doing that. Hey, Brian Starkey, cheers buddy. Thanks for the ride on dude. Um, so yeah, I've gone over my allotted allowance. I'm here with Mr. Moon. Mr. Moon and Mr. Money. Do you know what? I'm a massive Jamiroquai fan. And one of my absolute favourite songs by Jamiroquai is called Mr. Moon. And I used to sing it to my daughter when I was, uh, well, I say when I was a baby, when she was, she was a baby. And this will sound all soppy and romantic, but we used to look at the moon and I'd sing it to her and she loved it. So it has a very special place in my heart, as does Mr. Stephen Moon. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Alright, where's that bucket? Hey, Stephen's nearly on 90k. Good job, man. Alright, there we go. I've hit the 30k mark. Guys, that was brilliant, albeit very short and sweet. It's just, I just love logging in and seeing all you guys racing and riding together. It's just, like, it's just the coolest thing. Uh, anyway, yeah, so 30k, about 50 minutes. That's me done. I've got to try and wake my legs up now to push my lawnmower, which weighs almost as much as I do. It's just the most horrendous thing. And uh, the grass is almost as tall as I am, which is even more horrendous. So, it's the rest of my day sorted. Then packing bottles this evening, a little bit of actual grown up work, and if I get a chance, I'll try and nip in every now and again to see how you guys are doing, but I can't promise it. But, guys, thank you so much. Noel, legend, great stuff, man. Keep it going. I wish you all the best for the rest of the 200, and uh, I'll see you all soon.